Recently, I decided to monitor the APRS IS network for interesting messages. Seeing as it's a public system, I thought I might find something of interest, and in a way I did. Today in Signals Everywhere, I'll be showing you some of the bots and services that I found while monitoring the APRS network. First service I wanted to show you guys today um, on the APRS network is an application called uh, WXBot. And what this uh, service is essentially going to allow you to do is with a basic amount of information, such as a call sign or a uh, zip code, it'll go ahead and return back uh, weather information for you. And it's pretty adept in how it uh, does this. Let's go ahead and switch over to our APRS client. And we're going to send a message to WXBot. So if I wanted to do something just super simple, let's say I just want the weather for my location without giving it any information at all, um, you can actually send it um, any message with three characters or less. So I could even just say hi, for example, and it's going to go ahead and return the weather uh, for my location. And that's based on the beacon position that um, I send out via APRS. So the bot already knows where my uh, current location is. Now let's say you wanted the weather for a different location. We can type in, for example, we'll do Cleveland, Ohio, and we'll send that to the bot. And you'll see that we have two miles north northwest Cleveland, Ohio. Tonight's mostly cloudy with a low of 62 degrees. Uh, we can also check for weather on different days. So let's say we wanted to check for tomorrow at uh, this zip code here. We can send that and that will give us the uh, weather for that particular zip code. So it's very adept at what you're able to do and of course there are more options for WXBot but I'll leave that to your own exploration if you'd like to see what else that bot can do. We also have the APRS PH group and uh, this group is pretty cool because they actually do a group messaging net um, specifically on Thursdays. There's the APRS Thursday net that they do. Um, but essentially, this is a net that you can check in and over uh, APRS, you send a CQ message to the bot, and that will then send a mess your uh, welcome message to literally everyone else who has checked in that day. So it's actually a fun way that you can make contacts over APRS. And I've made a few myself um, just over the past few years uh, playing around with this particular service. Uh, but I wanted to show you real quick how you can join the net yourself and uh, potentially uh, have your f first uh, QSO over APRS. So we'll go to messages and send message. This one's going to go to APRSPH. And then the message that we want to send. And I'm just going to say hello from Ohio. We'll send that message out. And then you'll see we get a response with any other call signs that have checked in for the day. So we have uh, KO4SAD and uh, we are now officially checked into the net. And it asks that we listen um, on frequency for other messages until a uh, specific Zulu time. Um, that basically just ensures that if other people come, there's actually somebody uh, at the station monitoring uh, so that they can answer those messages. So obviously, if I were to get up and leave, I'm not available to answer any messages. So they want you to uh, wait until a specific time uh, that they have displayed in Zulu for us. Another service we have available on the APRS network is the find service. This one will allow you to type in a call sign and find the last time this call sign was found on the APRS network. So if we type in AD8NT, which is my call sign, you'll see the last time that I used that call sign um, standalone by itself was 58 days, one hour and 40 minutes ago. And that came in on the TCP IP network. Now, if we type in AD8NT-1, we can also find the last time that one was heard. And of course, that was four minutes ago uh, because I'm currently sitting here recording a video. The next service I'd like to show you is the ISS bot. Uh, all we have to do is send a message to ISS. And this can be any message at all. And as long as you've beaconed your position at least once, this will give you the current location of the International Space Station. So I'm just going to send hello, and you'll see we get the AOS and time for the International Space Station's next pass. This next one is probably one of my favorite APRS services. It's known as Repeat. And uh, all we have to do is send a message to repeat here. And what this is going to do is uh, send us back a list of all the repeaters in our area. So let me go ahead and type in the word nearest. 
and you'll see with nearest what we're going to get is a response back with the nearest repeater in our area. In this case that's going to be KHCY at 146.715. It has a negative offset and a tone of 141.3. So it's very, very easy and it gives us all the information we need to program our radio. Now let's say you want to get the nearest three repeaters. Well that's actually pretty easy as well. We're just going to type in nearest space three and what this will do is get us a response with the nearest three repeaters in our area. Now while it's great to have this information, you can see the nearest repeaters are all on the 2 meter band. So let's say you wanted to get the 70 centimeter band. We can do that as well. Um, all we have to do is add to our message here, 70 centimeters. So we have uh, nearest 3 70 centimeters and if we send this message, we'll get back the nearest 3 repeaters on the 70 centimeter radio band. And those 3 repeaters are K8RSO, N8XUA, and N1TVI. And again, it gives us all the information that's necessary in order to program our radio. And we were able to attain all of this information strictly through the APRS network, which is uh, honestly pretty nice to be able to do. The next APRS service I'd like to show you is one known as SatBot. And so we can come to our messages here. We're just going to send a message to SatBot. We're just going to enter our uh, particular grid square, which in my case is EN91, and then a space as well as the name of the satellite that we're interested in. My particular favorite is SO50. So we have EN91 space SO-50. Let's go ahead and send that message. And you'll see that SatBot returns the AOS for us, as well as other information such as the max elevation, uh, which gives us all the information that we need to listen for this particular satellite at a given time. The next APRS service I'd like to show you is the WhoisBot. Uh, this one's very simple and it does not have a, uh, a website that I was able to find. But uh, we simply send a message to who-is with the call sign of someone that we want to get the name of and it will go ahead and get that Whois information for us. So for example, I can type in my club call, K8SDR, and that will return the name of the club, the Signals Everywhere Amateur Radio Club. It shows the state as well as the country that that uh, particular call sign exists within. We can also look up other call signs. So for example, I can type in one of the uh, local clubs in my area and you'll see we can quickly get information back on that one as well. So very simple bot, but definitely something that can come in handy and useful if you're in the field and just need a quick who is on a particular call sign. Then we also have your typical things that you're uh, likely to find on APRS, such as a soda reflector. There's also an APRS to SMS gateway, but of course things like this have been shown online uh, pretty frequently, so I don't want to rehash the same old thing. There's also uh, the Sondhub uh, APRS gateway. Now I'm not really familiar with um, Sond radios, so I don't want to get into this, but it's available um, for anyone who's interested in that particular side of the hobby uh, to access these over APRS. There is also a gateway for the national traffic system. There's MPAD, which again has been touched on quite a bit. Um, Jason, KM4ACK uh, especially, did a great job showing what MPAD is. And uh, basically it takes the functionality of many different bots and services on the APRS network and it brings them all together so that they can easily be used from a single call sign instead of having to use different bots that have been available in the past. We also have a couple of um, spotting uh, capable bots that are available. Uh, I don't use any of the spotting services, so I'm not really one to um, show those off for you guys. But I did want to show you that they are available. Here's another one for soda um, activations. And we even have a gateway for WhatsApp. Um, but again, I don't have a WhatsApp account, so I'm not going to show how to use the WhatsApp gateway. But it is there um, and available for anyone who wants to play around with it. And with that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, you know, this initially started out as me trying to look around for interesting messages on the APRS network, but it turns out that most messages on the APRS network are honestly kind of boring. They're exactly what you would expect them to be. So nothing super fun or fancy really came out of it. But I did find that there were a lot of bots that I wasn't aware of and a lot of services that I had never heard of on the APRS network. And so I thought if I haven't heard of these, maybe uh, some of you guys haven't heard of them either. And I thought it would be fun to touch on some of the services that I found. 
Uh, with all of that being said, thank you uh, goes out to all of my subscribers, as well as a huge thank you to all of my lovely patrons, uh, for whom without I wouldn't be doing this. Uh, you guys really help support me in a lot of ways. And uh, with that being said, I do also want to mention that uh, patrons do get uh, special access to behind-the-scenes content as well as early access to video content. Um, so you, my patrons are going to have this video um, earlier than you'll see it on YouTube. So if that's something you're interested in, you might want to join the Patreon. And of course, uh, that helps support me financially um, directly. So if you're looking to support me in any way um, directly, that is one way to do it. Um, so again, a big thank you to everyone, and I hope to see you all in the next video.